Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to put this engine in, but we gotta do a few things first. We got the radiator cleaned up. We're gonna put that on and then uh, make sure that we got everything cleaned up as far as the swing arm bearings. And I got a new bolt for the swing arm as well and a nut, so we're gonna get those taken care of now. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you can come on back and check out what we got going on. Don't forget to smash that like button. We always appreciate that. All right, so let's get into it. Got the radiator all cleaned up, straightened up a little bit. Just ready to go ahead and mount that. See, don't over tighten it. I think it's pretty jacked up. Freaking serious. <sighs> all right, so just getting these <clears throat> old bearings out. I got an all balls uh, bearing kit. I always get the fun stuff. We're gonna have to beat these suckers out of here. I mean, I would have to push it all the way through. Okay, had a uh, tough time getting the old bearings out, but we got them out and we put an all balls swing arm bearing and seal kit for CR 8085 uh, 2000 2007 and CRF 150R RB. Um, it's 28-1019 is the part number for the all balls kit. Um, came with seals like I said, had new pins and bearings. So we put that in there. Um, I greased this lower bushing here, or a bearing there. And now we're getting ready to put the new uh, pivot pin in as well as the engine. So we're gonna get ready to do that now. Okay, we got a few things here. We got a new pivot bolt, swing arm pivot bolt. And this is number 90201 GC4-000. This bike did not have a pivot nut. Go figure. 
and the new pivot bolt. Pretty. Uh, this one is 90121-GBF-830. Made in Japan. You want to do me a favor, Calvin? Yep. Go on the other side, put this in. some blue Loctite on here. I don't know if you're supposed to put blue Loctite on here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Put some finishing touches up here. We're gonna put the brake front brake pads on first. That's just two 12 millimeter bolts. Get this caliper off.
And then we got these two pins here. And get a new set of Tusk front brake pads. Probably gonna have to compress this. I like to use the old brake pad. Well, I couldn't find the old one, so I'm going to have to compromise a little. Just like that. That's all you want to do is compress it all the way in. Part and put your caliper back on. It's that fast. Then you're going to want to make sure you pump up your your front brakes. All right, guys, this is gonna be the first startup, or at least attempt. Oh, oh, oh. 
So a few things I got to do. Obviously, I got to. I didn't get the fork of guards in the mail, and I got royally screwed on this tank here. I didn't realize that three or four of these stinking things are stuck in the tank. So I don't know how I'm going to get those out. So if you guys got any good uh, recommendations, let me know. Um, and then a decal kit I got to get on there. Um, still going to probably figure out what's going on with the carb here. Seems like it's just puking on me. Uh, so I don't know if it, maybe it's the float height or something. I don't know. Um, so with that, and like I said, I'm going to have to get this off. I'll probably have to figure out how to do that, but that is mostly it. Turned out pretty good. Thing rips pretty good for 85, man. This thing books. So it's running super rich, I know that. So it probably is the float. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the, the series, the little mini series here. Um, like I said, this is the 03 Honda CR85. I got it for 825 bucks. Cylinder was like 350. Um, maybe another. I'd say uh, 100, well, it was 175 for the rims, 80 bucks for the tires. Um, plastics were, including the fork guards, I would say uh, probably about 110 bucks, 105 bucks. And then I got a new, new set of um, grips. I got the Honda. This was like 15, 20 bucks shipped. These were 12, 15 bucks. Um, other than that, yeah, it's uh, not a whole lot that I don't, you know, needs to break. Uh, the rear brakes do work. I um, think they need to, be they need to be bled. But then um, got new levers and then just found out that the stop button doesn't work. So I have to figure that out. It's probably just a bad one or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have to uh, probably check the the carburetor off uh, bowl float they're probably running or they're probably uh, set wrong and then I accidentally broke this when I was straightening the, the forks um, but other than that yeah it's definitely set up for a light rider that's for sure I'm uh, 200 well no I'm actually I was down to 192 yeah can't believe it I was 215 over the winter so yeah I've kind of uh, slimmed down a little bit so uh, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. Come on back, check out what we got going on here. You know, because uh, pretty much what I do around here is fix things to ride them. So, all right. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Share with friends and family and social media networking. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So, come on back. Take care. And God bless.